Hey everybody, this is another review by Dust Storm. This review is for the BenQ HT 2050 3D home theater projector with hi-fi speaker. I was provided a free sample for an unbiased and thorough review, so that's what I'm going to do for you today. <clears throat> so I have actually had a lot of experience testing um, projectors. I own several that I've purchased on my own and then I own several that I have received as free samples to do evaluations on. Typically the projectors um, that are sold on Amazon a lot and that are becoming more popular are the uh, very small, lightweight, um, and inexpensive projectors. Really they are best suited for movie watching or game playing in very dark rooms. So if you have any uh, overhead lights on or you want to watch during the day those projectors aren't uh, best suited for daytime or bright room watching. BenQ on the other hand is um, as I will show you an awesome projector and you can use it in full sunlight you can use it uh, in a room with overhead lights on you can use it in a pitch black room, you can use it outside, doesn't matter. It is an excellent, excellent projector. <clears throat> so, let's get started here. I've already got the projector up and running, as you can see. Uh, just quickly, have it pointed at my wall. Didn't really feel like busting out the uh, projector screen, getting that all set up. As you can see, I've got all my can lighting on, so full... Uh, fully lit up room, very very bright. <clears throat> the projector itself is quite large. Here's my hand. It's about six inches across, so um, you're probably looking at about 15 inches wide here and uh, maybe 10 inches long. Turn around, show you the front. So uh, front here, you've got your one of your main cooling fans, of course your uh, DLP projector lens, you've got a cap. Uh, this actually controls the angle of the front, you press that down and you pick it up and it actually drops a little leg down. Oops, just lost connection to my computer. I'll set that back up in a moment. Uh, more exhaust ports on the side here. On top, you have your manual connection of uh, manual buttons, I should say. So you've got menu source, all the main things you need. Up top here is a little cover you can flip. This is how you adjust the focus, or you can call it the zoom of the picture. On the back here, this is the guts. So you've got <coughs> two HDMI ports there. Um, 12 volt trigger, you got a USB port which will give you charging capacity as well mini USB port <clears throat> you got a PC connection, RS-232 you got your component connections, audio in and out obviously your power there and on this side just more vent you've got full controls on the bottom so you can adjust um, the corners, the angles, make sure you've got a square and straight screen. And then of course with your purchase you get the projector, you get your power cord, you actually get a very very nice remote control and then uh, some instruction, CDs, that good stuff. <clears throat> Unlike some of the other projectors usually I always get at least uh, like an HDMI cord. This doesn't come with any other cords, so just your power cord. <clears throat> so keep that in mind. Um, when you first get this projector, you follow a couple on-screen setup prompts. Very simple, very quick. Right out of the box, this thing is crystal clear quality. Uh, it's just, it, the picture is amazing. I have this, I don't know, maybe 10-12 feet from my wall and it's probably hard to see on this camera but the um, image size is about 70 72 inches right there so it's a good size 
This projector is awesome for no matter what you need it for. PowerPoint presentations, um, web page viewing, movies, video games. Usually when you look at PowerPoints or Word documents or web pages, the text is very blurry. As you can see, this is crystal clear. Once I zoom in really close, you can obviously start seeing the pixels, but from a normal distance, can't tell that at all. Now the refresh rate is very quick, instantaneous, so it's just like a good, basically I'm extending my computer monitor. Oh, and I should mention I've got this connected to my Lenovo Yoga 3 Pro. I've got it connected via a micro HDMI cable to HDMI. So I just wanted to show you the you know what, I'm going to set my camera up on my tripod, tripod real quick. Alright, so the purpose, I just wanted to show you web pages, they all look excellent. Colors are crisp, clean, all that good stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and play a movie, you guys can see what that looks like. It's the image quality that you're going to see through Amazon, which is compressed, is not as good as what I'm seeing. So the colors are bright, vibrant, crisp, clear. I mean, you name it. It just really pops. The image quality, I cannot get over how great it is. Um, this is definitely the highest quality projector that I have owned, personally. I've used much better uh, projectors, much more expensive projectors. But in terms of owning, this is the best one that I've had, so I'm just kind of in awe right now about how amazing this is. So let me go ahead and uh, put on a movie real quick. Nice kid movie. Alright. So, turn the volume off. So this is an uh, HD image, HD movie, right there on my wall, nothing fancy about it. Um, you can easily watch this in, like I mentioned, a bright room with lots of light. I've watched this in uh, daytime with the sun, in a bright room with sunlight. Obviously the darker the room, just the better experience. You don't get that screen glare, um, colors do look better. <clears throat> But I just, I really want to stress that this projector will still work even if you have a lot of light in the room. So, this is a widescreen picture right now. Um, you can adjust the aspect ratio. You can either have it set up automatic or you can manually choose to do so. <coughs> so, if I go to settings to show you here real quick. Aspect ratio, so there's 4.3. 16 by 9, wide, letterbox. So it's all real time and does it real quick. Get out of there. Um, another really awesome feature is this has a built in speaker. Now the speaker is actually very loud um, to the fact, to the point that it startled me at first when it comes out of the box. It's actually on uh, pretty loud. Once you power the projector up and power it down, it actually has a uh, very loud beep, kind of like an old um, Windows PC when you load it up and turn it off. <clears throat> so you can definitely hear the speaker. Um, my kids are all asleep and um, I was afraid that that beep was actually going to wake them up. That's how loud it was. So sound quality is actually quite astonishing. Usually on these projectors the um, speakers are terrible, really distorted. You can't get them very loud. You can crank this bad boy up. Um, obviously it's not Bose sound quality, but it's uh, not distorted either. It still sounds great. It seems like there's a little bit of bass in there. Um, what's great 
is that you can also connect this to Bluetooth speakers, you can connect it through uh, auxiliary cables, you can connect it through HDMI to a um, home theater system. You've got a lot of other options, but you can uh, definitely get some great sound if you just set this up outside, for example, as <coughs> watching movies outside. Um, very loud. A uh, whole family can hear it. Even if you've got friends, you know, a lot of people can sit around this and you've got excellent, uh, excellent sound quality. So a couple other quick things I just wanted to mention. The settings are very, very robust. Um, one thing that I really love, there's actually an, it's kind of hard to see probably, you've got a keystone button. The keystone is actually done through software. So I just simply press the keystone button and using keys, I actually adjust the keystone. So it's very quick, very easy. And that's very important. A lot of projectors don't come with keystone adjustments. And what the keystone adjustment does is it's the tilt of the screen. Um, so you get what that does. You can control the tilt of the screen. You can control, as I said, the corners to make sure it's nice and straight. And it really just results in an amazing experience, an amazing viewing experience, great picture, great sound. Uh, great everything with this projector. <clears throat> Back to the settings though, uh, everything is very very high quality and professional so you have a ton of different adjustments that you can make. Picture modes, brightness, sharpness, color temperature, you can adjust the lamp temperature, um, all the sound adjustments, you can adjust <clears throat> Once you actually do have a uh, projection screen, you can adjust that. But one cool feature is if you do um, play this off of a wall like I am, you can actually choose different wall colors. So mine kind of has a yellow tint to it. And there's a feature that says wall color light yellow. And it's hard to see on the camera, but as I change it, the hue, the actual image color of the video changes, and it more accurately reflects what my computer screen looks like. So you can choose pink, light green, blue, or off. So it's just another way to get an excellent viewing experience out of it. Some uh, other settings. Um, here we go. It's very easy. As you're changing the projection screen, how you have it set up, so whether you have it ceiling mounted, if you're going to use it as a rear projector, you can change all that real quick and easy. Uh, let's see, just a couple other things I wanted to mention. So this is a DLP, Digital Liquid Projection. Um, there's DLP TVs, which, as you know, is a projector. It uses a different form of light, though. So it's a much smaller um, package, <clears throat> and it's still a very high-quality uh, HD image. The bulbs last a lot longer. Uh, they don't get as hot. There's a lot of great benefits. Um, but that's what this projector is. <clears throat> One other thing I will um, tell you about this. The unit does get pretty hot. Uh, it is a projector. It's a high quality projector. So the exhaust port over here will get pretty warm. So just keep that in mind if you're in a small room. You want to make sure you have good ventilation. It will warm up. Nothing bad against the projector. That's how they all are. just wanted to mention that. Uh, once you power the unit off, it'll actually stay running the internal fan to cool off. Just on normal mode, it takes obviously depends on how long you've been running it. Um, but I ran this for about 15 minutes earlier, powered it off, and it took about five minutes before it turned off. <clears throat> There's actually a setting in here. I'm trying to find it real quick. Basically, it was um, quick power off, and so what that does is it boosts the fans really, um, they get them going really fast at power off, and that'll use more power obviously, but it'll cool it down quicker, and that way it'll shut off faster. So uh, let me go ahead and power off, show you what I mean. You might hear that beep. So this will stay on the screen for about 30 seconds before all the lights actually turn off.
There you go, light turned off. And if you hear it, it's still running. And it'll stay flashing, that just means it's cooling down. Bottom line, this is absolutely worth every penny this cost. There is so many different features and benefits to this projector. My video is way over what it should be, but uh, I just wanted to make sure I at least showed you a good chunk of it. Um, you will not be disappointed with this projector. So if you have any questions for me, let me, let me know by sticking in the comment section. I'll do my best to respond. Other than that, that's all I have. Thanks so much for your time. Take care.